After several weeks of being stuck inside, thousands have flocked here to Bolivar Peninsula to make the most of their time while out. Been in quarantine and like I need to get out and party. Go topless Jeep weekend. What's better than beach and a few drinks and Jeeps? Man, it getting better than that. In full swing at beaches on Bolivar Peninsula. <laughs> this event comes at a time where beaches across the state are reopening following the coronavirus pandemic. And beachgoers like Chelsea Collier are still taking precautions to stay safe. Wash them hands for 20 seconds and keep them clean with the Germex. Totally. At last year's Go Topless event, Chaos erupted. About 80 people were arrested. Six people were taken to the hospital. But this go round, the Galveston County Sheriff's Office has enlisted the help of 40 DPS troopers. Come down, have a good time. You have a good time, there's no issues. But when you start acting silly, like the sheriff said on the previous interview, we've got a jail that's got a whole lot of empty holes. The Sheriff's Office have made at least 63 arrests so far in connection to Jeep Weekend. As for the enforcement of social distancing, they say it's challenging to enforce. I mean, you can't. It's just, it's not possible to do that on this beach with the amount of people that we have here. It's just, we can't do that. The additional presence of law enforcement has been a welcoming sight for beachgoers, given the history of this event. Law enforcement has definitely made their visibility and made people chill out and not be as crazy. The cops are doing their job as long as they don't be mean to people who are actually being innocent. Then I'm all gravy, baby. And if you missed out on today's festivities, you can come out tomorrow. Like the Galveston County Sheriff's Office says, act responsible while having fun. Reporting here from Bolivar Peninsula, Jordan James, 12 News.